Tiger uh, just does not care is in mid. Though that might cost him very, very soon. T34 trying to ram? Unfortunately, oh my god, so close, T34. It was like, I had him. I had him. I was like, in shop. Hello everyone, this is GrayShot17 here bringing you another CH2 replay. This is a 4v4 on Port of Hamburg. What we got here today, we got two Americans, two Soviet, versing three Austere and an OKW, which include Desert Fox, Mayark, uh, May RC, Acker Belt, and LXR. We also have Y-Man, RJ, Dust, and J Nolan, so we'll see how this turns out. Playtime is pretty high in this one, so... Anyone says, well, Grey Shot, they don't know what they're doing. Well, they have enough time in here that they can fill a curriculum, which says something about people in playing Code 2. Uh, you know, it actually says a lot. But we'll see how things progress in this game. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by hitting that like subscribe button. Seriously, it does absolutely help. I know like half the people watching these videos aren't subscribed. So again, if you want to be so kind to do that, amazing. If you want to join my Discord so you can play games with other people in the community, down below. And support me on Patreon as well, down below. But anyway, let's get to it. Port of Hamburg. Uh, two major points of contest in the early onset of the game. This fuel point and the one over here. Now, it looks like this one's a little less uh, rigid initially. Well, bring up the MGs and Assault Grenadiers, and, well, things are pretty much an open-shut case. Um, here, it, it's it's a little more contested right now because of the OKW forces. And I don't... Th yeah, the MG, unfortunately, not able to get in the building. Not going to help. The reason I say that is simply because of the fact that they may be able to flank it. Um, the Stern Pioneers have a lot of targets. They're a little bit spread thin. Uh, Conscripts behind cover, so they're not really being suppressed. Um, and they should be able to hold their own. Plus, it looks like we have some forces going around. So good job on Hawaii Man for getting around that MG and taking out that target. Along with the, these um, Assault Engineers. Now, we do have Assault Grenadiers in the other portion of the map. But well, we'll check to see how they're doing in a moment. But I think they're doing pretty well as well. But right now, these troops are doing a really good job pushing back the MG. Though, they're extremely weak. Storm Pioneers could finish them off. I think they'll need to get out of the building to do so. Uh, but it doesn't look like that will be the case. They will go back extremely low. They are brought by Armor Company, a doctrine that I don't care for. It's better than it was, but still, not a fan. Uh, moving on as well, we got ourselves Y-Man with, with mechanized support. Very good doctrine overall. Conscript's really low. Glad they got out in time. Again, unfortunately, the Rashlons did not. That's why that's why unit preservation is so key. It might be a rear echelon squad, but it adds up over time. And that's a lot of manpower that you have to get a new squad out for. So just heads up. Maltubs were thrown at the Pioneer Squad. Doesn't look like it's going to have any long-lasting effect. Because, again, we still have the Kubel, Stern Pioneer, and Pioneer there. Plus additional Grandiers. And it looks like a uh, truck that was hit by something. I'm, I'm assuming AT grenades, maybe? Uh, hold on. Up, oh, another squad died. God dang. Uh, do we have AT grenades? Yes, you do. So I may got AT grenades to hit that thing. Uh, may, may RC got false stream Jaegers. All right, okay, Luftwaffe ground forces. So we'll see how that goes with the light fortifications. We know one of them with Salt Grandiers, and by God, it, although it's with Strategic Reserve, so interesting to say the least. Instead of a was a normal Tiger, we'll have a Tiger A. So everyone wins. <laughs> you get Salt Grandiers, and you get yourselves a Tiger. Meanwhile, we got Dust coming in with some uh, mostly support, uh, only one frontline unit, and they're over here. Uh, yeah, these Grandiers are gonna make short work of this as they're flanking. Although Mortar comes in, gets a nice model kill right there. Uh, Jay Nolan with Urban Assault. That's, that's fine, uh, most, but he's gearing up his men back at base, so it's going to be a while. Right now, Dust is the only one fighting, and that's a little bit of a negative because right now he's the only one engaging these targets. Though he might get a kill here if he's lucky with the Engineers. Um, the reason I say it is typically where's the other guy, because if those two teamed up and kind of hold that position, they could have a lockdown at that point, which is a lot of resources, a lot of capture points that would be under their control. But no, he's going to mid. And uh, he's not really going to have much resistance. Grandier Squad should be easily be able to push back that conscript. Engineer Squad coming on in. MG, we're out of position. Um, or at least has no coverage. Looks like he had to send some men back to grab the additional points in the back. So he can get in the building. Bad idea with a flamethrower. Grandier's coming on in to try to keep him away. Meanwhile, the battle continues over here. And the German forces have that. So they have double fuel right now. And are currently putting the pressure on to the allies. The allies have, looks like might lose another unit if they're unlucky but it looks like they're just fine as they don't have any long range fare to take it out um cool with 10 
kills. My god, they have just been slaughtering the American and Soviet forces in this sector. Really good job there. Grandiers as well, trying to put, keep up the pressure. Um, again, trying to keep in cover, that's fine. Pioneers closing the gap. Grandiers getting the building to lock that down. We have additional conscripts and assault engineers coming on in, but it's just, I don't think it's going to be enough. Kubel is uh, 11 kills now, almost veteran C3. God damn. But we do have a little better luck on the other side. American forces use smoke, break through this position. I'm assuming they actually do not have grenades, so I'm assuming it was the mortar that dropped the smoke. So that's interesting. Anyway, they, whatever the case may be, they got the smoke down. They're advancing. Now, they have enough firepower. The assault grenadiers aren't going to be as effective as they want to be. And, yeah, they don't have enough men to throw grenades in. They're probably going to be executed by the multiple riflemen and lieutenant. So we can see some armor? Okay. All right. He's arguing 50 cal, but he's upgraded. So, yeah, and I, again, a steward might not be a bad idea. Or a utility car if you want to place mines. Um, because again, mines are great, and with, I know with this they don't have it, though it looks like with the flame half-track, the steward's a little more viable as something that's a direct competitor to it, and it's something that can easily counter it. Utility car, eh, it can, it can definitely hurt it, um, and definitely lay mines to trap it, but it's not, like, definitive in taking it out. Meanwhile, Ryoshan's flank take, pushing against the MG. American forces and Soviet are managing to slowly advance, though it's mostly frontline forces. Uh, they don't really have any mortars or supports. They're just sending frontline guys in. That's fine, but uh, again, that's a lot of men you're currently losing in these constant fights. Uh, because again, it's just full-on brawl. And unfortunately for you guys, it seems like you don't have a lot of men coming up consistently. Meanwhile, the Germans seem to be pumping out not only more men, but also more armor. Because of the fact they've contested it so much. I'm glad you guys at least captured it. That's good, because I'll at least... Uh, diminish their fuel supply, especially because the allies on the other side did so well and took their side. So at least that might compensate for the lack of fuel. Um, but I will say this. It looks... I, I want to point out that May RC may have also been sending his troops in and they may have been dying in mass. Hold on. Real quick. How many... Alright, you just lost one Sturm. So honestly, that's not too bad, all things considered. Desert Fox is a bit more men and looks like he's bringing up MGs, which will suppress this. Do you have any smoke? They do. So smoke could be feasible in this situation, except for the half track currently suppressing all your men and also direct fire which is a thing and yeah it looks like the half track and mg will do that um okay good 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 he does have some support equipment finally coming out so that's good we have an m1 which is fantastic against the half track mg capturing the fuel you know it's a single model so the 50 cal uh they drop smoke on it that might actually be a little worse because that's going to allow him to capture it without really any competition i think he's in smoke we have fuel cash going down so at least that's trying to help uh, engineers and grandiers coming on to assist with a pack 40, so at least they have something. Kubel, 14 kills, my god! May RC, doing excellent work with the Kubel. And people are like, Grey Shot, why would you go with the Kubel? And it's like, uh, especially on this map where it's all, like, all this cover, it's like, it can be a very good support unit. Especially if you can keep heals on it and keep men. Uh, the Stern Pioneer dying is a little bit of a... A little bit of an F, but hey, you know what? He's doing decently well. Speaking of which, does going anti-infantry tactics. Actually kind of like that because, again, um, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's something different. And tower tactics and flames can be very good at keeping enemies off the point. Um, meanwhile, you also have Calliope's for long-range artillery and good anti-armor and or, and or infantry, depending on how you push the rangers toward bazookas or thompsons. We got subs IS-2152, which is great long-range. Armor company. So the reason I'm liking this is because each of them are different. One has, again, they each have a recon. Each of them have some type of IL-2 bombing strike, or because again, two Americans plus you got the recon overflight. So you got plenty of recon. You got direct strikes. You got anti-infantry. You got ant like you got ways to keep the enemy off. This is a very good team comp for this map. Um, I have no regrets. I will say retreat that unit, uh, especially with all that fire. And unfortunately, there goes the fighting position. At least 50 cal might will start suppression. Uh, but yeah, really good team cop. Nice job with the grenade. Could be, oh my god, fantastic grenade. And actually has rangers, and they do have bazooka teams. Yeah, they have a ton of bazookas in there. So most likely if a half track or something moves in, they're done. Not even a competition. The rangers bazookas are s probably the best infantry um, to armor uh, unit in the game. Half track could compete with through the smoke and just fire, but if he also direct fires, that could be a big thing. Um, he's trying to get away from the Rangers, it looks like. Also, Flamethrower in there, alright. The question is, can they finish him off? Bazookas fire and get a kill. Great shot with, by the Rangers. And there goes a very, very powerful early game armor unit from the Germans. 
Um, meanwhile, Mortar Fire coming in. Again, great use of support. Again, we have a, um, American and Soviet Mortar. T-70 coming in along the other side. Looks like he skipped over the Stuart and allowed the Soviets to bring in their armor, which is going to work out great if he can kill this Grenadier Squad. And he does. Nice shot. And yeah, right now losing a lot of units. LXR is down, uh, but not in a necessarily bad position. Um, the reason I say that is because of the fuel and manpower. He has enough to bring things back, and most likely, um, if you wanted to come back in a big way, he could upgrade the battle phase 2, make a building, and almost have an armored unit probably within the next two minutes. Uh, that might not be as beneficial as he wants it to be, especially with this, but if he... he if he needs to get something a little more powerful, he can. If he wants to pump out infantry, he can. Especially because in the meantime, while he's doing that, he could easily have enough manpower to build probably two squads infantry. Um, so he's not too far down. Though I will say I'm a little saddened that Pioneer Squad got the LMG. Would be great to see the Grenadiers grab that. But it looks like things are not going well on the other front. Um, we have RJ trying to push on in. Does push back the Grenadier Squad and stop them from decapping. But uh, Axis forces did capture this. We do have a small comeback with Guard Troops upgrade with DPs coming on in with Conscripts backing them up in AT. This should be able to deal with this light contingent. The big problem is the half track, the pack, the other, 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 the other MG support gun. This they are really reinforcing this sector. False makers have popped in, most likely dropped in, and trying to kill the cash. Again, not a bad idea. Caches are very important. It's a lot of manpower that could just be neutralized uh, and also cut long term. It cuts the additional resources. So yeah, definitely want to kill caches if possible. And it may not seem like a big deal, but as well, think of like other things you could use with that. You could cut off enemy territory. Uh, so, and yeah, that could lead to a special doctrine like encirclement. There, there's all sorts of stuff you can do. Or delay uh, fortifications if the territory is cut off. Um, anyway, T-70 behind enemy lines, also killing a cache. So both sides are, looks like they'll be able to kill a cache of some type unless they are stopped. Uh, Pioneers coming on in, I have no freaking clue what they're going to do. Um, Panzer Grenadiers coming on in, but again, no idea what they're going to do. They don't have an upgrade. So if you're sending it in, why? What's the purpose of this? Are you just trying to stop him from killing it? I mean, Pioneers could heal, but then the T-70 could also fire. Um, also, it could be the fact he's willing to do scare tactics. Like, I could have a Panzer Shrek coming. You don't know. You don't know. I could have it. Be scared of me. It's it's, it's like that. It's like a guy Oorong with conscripts when he doesn't have AT grenades. Anyway, half-track coming on in, except this one is American. So that's good. Uh, looks like they did neutralize an MG42. That'll be a nice steal if they can get it. A T gun moving on in for artillery support. It looks like they're having a lot better luck in mid at breaking that, which also two VPs, which is helping because right now that's kind of lowering the bar back down for the Axis because they're in the lead and bringing it back down to the Allied level and hopefully they can surpass it. Meanwhile, we have Y-Man recapturing forces over here. They still, unfortunately, have to deal with uh, some other things. Telemine going down, really nice placement. Uh, and I love the fact there's a British mine right here. So they're like, I'm fine, immediately hit Telemine. Oh, uh, that sucks. Um, although I think they may have seen... Oh my god, is the half track gonna... Please don't. Okay, I was gonna... I was like, really? Oh, it does hit the mine on the way out. That's funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, Soviet force is coming back. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like RJ's losing a bit of his men, but... At the very least, even though he's losing that manpower, uh, sorry, he's losing the men, he has plenty of manpower to, re to reinforce it, so I, sh I should point that out. We have an elephant in this game, very good for middle, same thing with the IC-152. LX is the only one that hasn't picked anything yet. Right now they have heavy tank, good infantry. Um, the only thing I would be concerned about right now for the for the Axis, wow, great job with the Rangers pushing on in. Especially with bazooka teams, they're going to make quick work of these caches. Um... Yeah, the only thing I would say that I would be worried about would... Let's see, what doctrines does he have? Maybe join operations? Uh, that way you can have a recon? Oh, wait. Yeah, well, that's more stable. I mean, that's a... Oh, wait, no. They have a bunch of recon. Uh, you know what? Actually, I take that back. I absolutely take that back. Get a German mechanized. You can get the command tank and combine that with the elephant. And that thing will be... Inc that thing will be definitely a, uh, a v very hard thing to crack. Plus, again, you can also drop smoke to keep things alive and scope as well to help. And that way you also get artillery. That, yeah, I think that might be the best. Uh, but good job, by the way, on um, Acre for pushing on in. It looks like the allies are making sure they can't be blocked, but they're, at least they're sending over infantry. Super important to decap these points. I hate how many times on, the, on this map that people just leave this area go and just won't capture it. The same thing over here. Like, if the allies have it, the Axis will just hold up here and just won't venture out or the allies, whoever's there. 
I'm glad on both sides that they are actually advancing and doing stuff because that's so much that's so, uh, so much more important to try to advance. Now, Pentagrandiers took out the T70. Um, we have Salt NGs and moving on in. We have mines over here, an interesting mine placement, so that way they cross the bridge. I mean, good use of it, especially if they retreat this way. That could be very uh, negative for that retreating party. Panzer IV advancing. I do oh, AT guns are lined up and waiting. I think they're just maybe luring him in. Uh, I think shock troops pulling on back. Uh, a second AT gun moving on in. Panzer IV advancing. Double AT will make quick work of it if he doesn't pay attention. Um, meanwhile, something just blew up. I'm assuming it was over here. Unknown. Panzer IV blows up, though, so that's good. Double AT doing, qu making quick work of that. It looks like, if I have to assume, he's blocking his territory off because he's making something that he doesn't want armor to advance to. Also, that provides cover. The counterpoint is the fact he's also blocking his allies from having quick access. So if there's shit going down here, if the allies can't back up this way, and that could also cause some pathfinding issues and cause some units to die if they're not paying attention. So that's always the risk reward of that stuff. Uh, what he, could he be making? Well... He, uh, Calliope's? Maybe he's just gonna prep his Calliope's behind the line. Not a terrible idea. At least that stops a dive attempt from occurring for the most part. Uh, American infantry will make quick work of that. Plus, the Rangers could then, like, move in and out of there and not have to worry about being chased down. Uh, unfortunately, the engineers got shot down and immediately killed. Let's see. We got Soviet forces uh, barely holding on and then, yeah, having to fall back just from a massive push from both. Um, hold on. It's uh, Desert Fox and also the Falschmeyer group of May RC, so they're advancing. Jagdpanzer, not a bad idea. I mean, if you're looking for something for a sturdy defense, can't go wrong with this tank. Absolutely not. We have a flank coming on in with a large group of forces, and it looks like we have a possible double MG position here, but doesn't matter. Uh, it looks like they're able to put enough shots to at least make the Austrian retreat. And then fire coming down? Yeah, fire's coming down. The MG should burn them down. Although, actually, weirdly enough, the positioning, it just went all around him like a giant flaming sea. My god. Well, good for him. At least the MG survived. Assault Grandiers as well, being upgraded to a six-man squad, making him even more potent. Might be a good idea. Uh, if they can get the grenades off on the Rangers, especially because the Rangers are now uh, fully utilized for bazooka teams, that could make them extremely susceptible to very powerful infantry. Unfortunately, a machine gun's going to wreck him, but, you know, uh, one small step. One, one step. All right, LXR went joint operations. Also not a terrible idea. Um, the reason I prefer the other one is just because of the fact that helping your allies out with the command tank is, could be more beneficial than building artillery and building Pack 43, especially with someone who has rocket artillery um, in such mass because you got the Soviets and now you have the Americans. Because um, the Pack 43, you need to kind of be a little bit closer to the front. Especially the armor. So, if we look in this situation, uh, they'll still have it, and maybe the the, um, the officer will be a benefit, but... Oh, boy, I'm just watching all the flamethrowers just burn everything down. Yes, Falschermaker's making a valiant last stand to try to hold the fuel, and it's working so far. Again, they dropped some smoke. Great bundle grenade, although pull back one Falschermaker squad, by God. Nope, he just burned to death. A lot of forces trying to hold the line. And it seems like, uh, while well, one false mirror squad died, they at least held it long enough for an MG to be set up. Now they actually need to activate armor-piercing rounds, but I think it might be a little too late. Conscript moving on in. Artillery coming down. They need something right on that point. And by God, they bring it in with a Panzerwerfer. Really nice shot. AT gun extremely low. MG still died, however. Panzerwerfer, though, did some good shots. So at, at least that's positive. Also, more false mirrors coming on in behind enemy lines. Uh, Conscripts could get on there because, again... Uh, they, again, they could use the bone to their advantage, and if they throw a bundle grenade, well, as long as he doesn't throw it to the door, might be okay. Um, either that or throw a Molotov on him. Because right now you're in negative cover. Uh, not, not, not negative cover, no cover. Anyway, MG struggling in mid against another MG. Uh, Grandiers and some uh, Panzer Grandiers moving on in. Get a nice kill on the Rifleman Squad. So that's, uh, that's a little bit of a loss, because that's uh, one of your frontline units that are not designed to fight armor. Uh, good grenade. Oh my god, yeah, these guys are having a rough day with those ranger grenades. Oh, boy. But they pushed them back. And nice minefield. So the infantry comes back. Uh, at least they'll have a bad case of explosions. All right. So uh, Hawaii's retaking the right-hand side. How is RC doing? Yeah. Oh, oh we lost another Falschmanger squad. Okay, I thought I heard something. God damn. All right. That was the recruit, too. So I guess the recruit over here died, burned to death. Something happened. Uh, whatever the case may be, all pioneers with minesweepers coming in to clear all this is like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with your mines. I'm clearing them. 
And yeah, not, not not a terrible idea. At least you got rid of them, and they don't have to worry about in case you do a deep strike. Or if at the very least, even if you can't remove them, you're aware of them. So that way, if you go around again, you at least be like, okay, these were the mines where maybe I go around and or like, okay, that area I don't mind sweepers yet. I know not to go that way. Um, hopefully, it doesn't do that. Hopefully. Anyway, MG kind of holding his position. Uh, oh my god, Grand Ears advancing assault Grand Ears as well. Again, you have the Bazooka teams, but the Oswin, as long as it keeps its distance, uh, it, it should be fine. Bottle Grenade going off behind them, thinking he was going to retreat from the grenade. Oswin still trying to keep his distance, by god. At the very least, it looks like they're doing enough damage. Hopefully, they can kill one squad of Rangers. Although, it looks like they may actually live, which would be astounding. Uh, Sherman designed for anti-armor. They're basically fighting anti-infantry, or fighting infantry, so they need something. Uh, we do have a nice push, hold on, by RJ advancing, although it looks like he's going to run into some mines. He's probably going to... Oh, wait, no, they both detonated. Okay, they were a little too close. They actually saved the captain a little bit. Again, spread your minds, people, a little bit more, so they don't explode on top of each other. Acre as well, losing quite a bit of his forces, it looks like. Uh, again, I'm assuming that's Calliope fire or Katusha fire. It's one of the, oh, it's Katusha fire. Alright, anyway, Blob coming around the corner. Uh, hopefully they get in the building. That'll make the Royal Engineers really happy. They don't, however, and they're going to keep pushing, which is unfortunate. Grand Ears, though, 24 kills. Panzer Grand Ears, 38 kills. Hot damn, LXR is doing a lot of work today. Uh, so let's see. Dust, not really a, a lot of veterancy with a lot of these guys. A lot of damage, I'm assuming, but just not a lot of kills. Shark Troops trying to hold the line. I'm assuming throw a grenade over to the corner. Sherman coming on the other side. They don't have uh, Panzer Sharks yet, so they're going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage. Something, I'm maybe here? Oh man, not as much uh, damage as he, uh, as he probably hoped. Anyway, Conscript Squad being lit up by the MG. The Conscript might die. Oh wait, nope. Brumbar is a little bit of a limp shot. <laughs> Just, uh... Brumbar, you have to aim where they're running to, not where they... Not where the, like, the remaining squad members were. It's like, don't worry, I'll make sure they're dead. It's like, no, we need to make sure the whole squad's dead. I don't understand. Uh... Anyway, recon's going up, so let's see. God damn. Alright, LXR, at least the, they know that... I, at this point, you should know. It's like, okay, there's Rangers. He has the Bulldozer at the front. All right, I know what I'm dealing with. Because I don't think he has any, any of the Rashlons. I think that might explode something. But whatever the case may be, they, uh, the Pioneers got around. Remember, these Pioneers, because of the Doctrine, have an ability for Satchels, which can, are, is very good at removing enemy positions. Um, another push is coming on in, but they have no AT whatsoever. So, yeah. Also, really nice with the Flak half track. Good anti-air as well as helping keep the infantry at bay if they flank this way or they flanked from the bridge. So, at least it gives the Germans a little bit of a fallback point. Not going to stop an armor push. Not not even close. But it will at least keep some infantry at bay if they come in spurts, which is what they need. Now, uh, speaking of pushes, we have this sucker. Uh, backed up by a bunch of bazooka teams. So, they need to deal with that. Smoke is coming down. Hopefully, keep the bazooka teams alive. But he's trying his best, and I think he might be uh, trying to find those, the Panzerwerfers around the corner. Again, I'll give credit. He's trying. The problem is all the Panzer Shrek squads now coming in. Rangers, though, might have target. Sherman as well as target. Nobody is telling this guy anything. One Panzerwerfer is down. Another shot by a Pack 40. He's going after the second one. Trying his best. Uh, Panzerfaust is likely. Might remove the uh, main turret. Nope, just... He's very low, though. Panzerwerfer making an escape. He's trying to turn it. Can he get final shot? No, he cannot. Goddamn. It was a, a valiant attempt, but uh, the Sherman just couldn't penetrate the lines enough. He did kill the Panzerwerfer with the Rangers, but that being said, Rangers did take heavy casualties and were down to two models, respectively. And also, he did lose a Sherman. Um, if I'm just being honest, I think at the very... If you're optimistic, they broke even. If you're being a detriment with the amount of resources you also spent upgrading the Sherman, that that American push was a lot more costly than what it inflicted. Though, uh, that might be worth it. I mean, the Germans right now are currently, on average, what, mid-60s? Allies are... Uh, allies are probably low 60s? So it's very close. So I don't know. I mean, like, it's fine if you lose a couple more units. If you have, there's, like, a substantial difference in numbers... Like, it's okay in that regard because you have so much to lose and the enemy does not. But in this situation, I just, I don't see that. Tiger coming on in. Thank God it didn't do any friendly fire. Uh, but the, pushing back to shock troops. Can it get a final shot? Does and executes the squad. So unfortunately, it looks like uh, Dust is going to be feeling that one. Uh, T-34 
Backing on up, we have some artillery fire coming down from the LAFH in the back. Already right, 10 kills, so already doing pretty good. I'm assuming he's returning fire on the mortar, so he just has auto fire on, or uh, so not not bad idea. Another Sherman coming on in, but this is the actual bull bulldozer, not the Sherman with a bulldozer upgrade. So this one has the like howitzer esque gun that can't really do armor piercing rounds. Tiger uh, just does not care is in mid, though that might cost him very very soon. T34 trying to ram. Unfortunately, oh my god, so close, T-34. It was like, I had him, I had him, I was so in shop. It's like Pacific Rim when the robot goes in and it just hits the balls. By the way, some of the shot was CGI, but the actual destruction sequence in the building was all practical. There's a lot more practicality in that movie than a lot of people think. Love it. But anyway, um, other than... Uh, Amazing practical effects in a, a fantastic movie. Uh, Tiger Tank did live. Kachucha Fire coming on down. Most likely hit the Pioneers, I assume, and stopped them from repairing. Though a little bit off. Or at the very least, might delay some of the infantry. Uh, nope, infantry just turns, so, turns a different way. Shock Troops trying to hold back the squads. Again, one with 43 kills. Oh my god, grenade almost squad wiped it. Uh, yeah, pull back that unit before it dies. Thank you. Uh, American forces trying to push in with Calliope. Firing a little closer. The, oh, wait. He might kill it with the Calliope. One squad down. Uh, Panzergrandier squad lives. Uh, all armor and MG taking some fire. Meanwhile, we got Hawaii Man taking the fuel. Although losing the AT gun. Panzerwerfer coming in on target. And oh my god. Just see the numbers going. All right. They got the support equipment down. Engineers to get the MG back up to operational status. Yagpons are repositioning. Hopefully to hit the bulldozer. Drive that sucker back while the bulldozer... Oh, sorry. While the Brumbar takes out all the infantry... And yeah, already a lot of health damage. Very lucky he didn't lose any models, because that could have been a whole squad going down. But he didn't. Uh, unfortunately, the yeah, there's no way the AT gun's going to live. It might actually die soon if they focus it, which I think might be a good idea, because they keep trying to take it. Again, re reduce the uh, the ability for your enemy to get that weaponry. Now, a fine man is very, very close, and most likely will get an ISU-152. That's a very, very strong unit. And Oh, wait, he's actually killing it. He's shooting it. I th Yeah, yeah, so why man's making sure the Germans can't take the AT gun. Okay, so I'm assuming, yeah, we're about to get C and ISU on 5-2. Hopefully, it helps break the center. Now, Allies still doing very well for themselves. Even though Hawaii Man took some losses, um, his teammates have been doing a really good job holding mid. And now, it looks like holding left. So, I, I criticize him a little bit, but honestly, uh, he's doing extremely well for himself. So, I can't, I can't deny the effectiveness and the, and the, the strength that uh, Jay, um, Jay Nolan has been doing in his sector. Like, he's been keeping these guys at bay and constantly advancing into the sector um, even though they've taken some casualties so I'll give credit now unfortunately it looks like he might lose a unit there and also it's not like LXR is not doing anything he absolutely is oh wait he actually lived the rifleman actually lived surprised uh, bazooka team is about to open fire on the Oswin they could kill it if they're lucky they do again the power of the bazooka teams via Rangers anyway we do have a small push going in. Tiger versus the ISU-152. Everyone's favorite battle. Oh, God. Yeah, so Tiger Ace uh, looks like got a couple good shots on target and not really taking any itself, which is great because, again, that's going to drive the ISU-152 back. But that also may be worth it because right now we have a lot of allied support, whether it's own men or a Wolverine. And as soon as I say this, the Wolverine might die, which would be hilarious. It's like, I've come to help! Immediately dead. Uh, Tiger is advancing, most likely to kill that sucker, but, uh, he's been marked. And now, he is the subject to brutal fire from everyone around him. So, Tiger Ace, uh, walking into a hell of a trap. Exchanging fire, but you remember, you have guard troops as well opening fire, and a lot of AT guns that are slowly moving up to help kill that beast. He's at the Veteran C2, so that will assist. I assume 5 2 firing long shots long range. He's been marked, luckily there was a bounce but I don't see him lasting too much longer. The amount of resources that go into this Tiger race is not light. It is a lot of uh, manpower and fuel. Was it 800 and 250? So the fact that it takes that many resources to deploy this unit isn't something that Acre can just quickly manufacture and bring back up. That's not gonna happen. A lot of infantry moving on in. Hopefully he switches over to explosive, which is Brumbar as well coming in to deal with the conscripts. They are blobbed up right now, so if the ic 52 can land a good shot on target, they could do a lot of damage. Panzerwerfer as well hitting, but uh, helping kill the support equipment. Nice shot. ic 52 pushes back two squads. 
They might be able to capture this point, but it's going to be risky if Ultramager is well coming on in. And that's the problem with a lot of these units is that I can see their heavier infantry, which is also a lot more costly when the unit gets blown to kingdom come by an ICO-52 and has to remodel. Oh, sorry, get a, because they lost a few models, have to uh, reorganize. What the hell is going on? That German is launching an assault on the bulldozer. You, literally, you can see him on the front. He's trying to get inside. Go, bull. Go, man, go. He's doing what he can. I think he's trying to go in the hatch where, like, the, the guys can see through. At least, I, I think that you can see through that area, like, in Fury. I could be wrong in that regard. But I, I think there's, like, a sliding hatch that you can. Um, wait, is it is it there a sliding hatch? No, no, there isn't a sliding hatch. Where was that? Dang it. No, it was a coaxial machine gun, I think, right? Wasn't it? Uh, I, something was... Anyway, point of the matter is... Yeah, because the, the guy wouldn't fire the, sh the, sh the machine gun on, on the front of it. That was the whole thing about the movie. Whatever the case may be, he's, he's riding on the front of it. Also, we have an elephant and king tiger now on the front. Uh, infantry has pretty much been pushed back by air support. So good job, by the uh, again, by the airborne assault. I assume 5-2, I guess, waiting for reinforcements. Uh, it's main gun will hit the planes, though. So hopefully maybe it can bring one or two of them down. Uh, that being said, it looks like uh, the Soviets, a.k.a. Dust, is doing a good job at holding this position. Artillery is coming in to break that MG. And because the elephant repositioned... Well, he's not helping out the rest of his forces. Um, some of which is Acre's trying to do, but again, Acre already lost his big tank, so don't expect him to be able to provide that big armor support. And uh, LXR is doing what he can with artillery. Um, but yeah, the big issue right now is those bazooka teams. You need to neutralize them. They're going to be doing a lot of damage and getting a lot of kills with that. Also, a lot of calliopes are being deployed on this side. So, I'm assuming Jay Nolan's idea is use the rangers to kill all the armor and then move up with uh, MGs and calliope support to just break the enemy lines. And it seems to be working out pretty damn well. Uh, this, this group is moving on in. They're somewhat tight and close-knit. Artillery is well coming in this sector, which could help break up these AT guns. Um... Smoke dropping here would be good. Panzer for coming in to kill the MG with... Like, Clypey, though, coming on in, wrecking this blob. Uh, doesn't squad white... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I love being uh, saying a statement and immediately being proven wrong. It makes things so much better. Anyway, uh, Acre taking a lot of losses and needs to regroup immediately. King Tiger advancing, which is a little astounding because I'm not... Okay, never mind. He still has the elephant support, false makers that could theoretically think of fancy one-drop smoke. I mean, that could definitely harm some armor if, if given the correct opportunity. Maybe. We'll see. But, point of the matter is, uh, they're at least holding on to the point. Uh, Panzer Grandier is trying to fight those shock troops. More artillery fire coming on in. Slowly wearing them down. So the shock troops might be weaker. But, uh, yeah, Grandiers, all they need is one shot to really help turn things around. Uh, missing the bundle grenade. They're being suppressed as well by the MG, which also needs heals. Never mind. It died. Good good job, MG. My god. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Uh, please tell me, Alexar, you're... Aw, oh, damn it. His, his amazing Grenadiers died. Son of a bitch. I was like, wait, don't tell me the 43 plus killed Grenadiers died. Uh, Rangers, by the way, doing what they do best and just annihilating armor with the bazookas. He keeps trying to push. I'll give him credit, but by, those Rangers are too deadly even for Panther armor to really deal with. Anyway, double-checking population. We currently have the Allies looking like they're in the upper 60s, I would say. Uh, maybe low 70s. Axis way more unpredictable because it looks like they are in the mid 60s as well so they've been taking some hits don't get me wrong but they're still looking pretty good especially to the a lot of reserves like uh, give credit where credit's due the fact that like lxr is deploying that many units and also the amount of units they're able to deploy especially with their heavy tanks nothing to sneeze at at all pans for getting a good shot on target grandier is moving on into point with the flank coming on in hopefully maybe to break through the lines and hit the calliope if possible but again, so it's one of those things where it's like, good luck. But I think they found an opening. I, I want to say they found an opening. Assault Grandier's trying to rush on in. Um, wow, okay. A, a lot of good targets right there. But it's only one team, though. Also, Pans were for a little bit short. Almost hitting your own men. So yeah, King Tiger. Slowly pressing on an IC-152. Falling back. Most likely because he realized he doesn't have support. Um, again, Hawaii Man being very smart about this. Not trying to pick a fight. He know he can't win. Um... There's infantry moving up. Maybe he could hit that. Um, use recon via the mortar. But again, it's like if the King Tiger and the Ag Pounds are move up, you have no infantry to stop it. So again, great to see him realize the situation pulling back. Meanwhile, we have infantry charging on in half cock. A fire coming down really nice because it's stopping him from advancing without burning to death. Um, so yeah, he's going to pull on back. Although the Axis did hit mid, which is good because right now they're down 130 plus points. 
Uh, right now you need a bundle grenade and actually did pretty well, although say goodbye to your comrade in arms, my god. Acre may need another unit, and it looks like he's saving up for another Tiger Ace. Um, so yeah, all the axes are bringing out the big guns. The problem is, uh, there's a counter to that, and uh, the rangers are it. Now, it looks like he forgot to finish the tank drop setup to cover the really, really easily broken wall. So, or maybe the Calliope broke it, whatever the case may be. Uh, great shot killing it. Rangers trying to finish off the unit. They got one last shot. They're not doing too bad. Honestly, they're, they're, they're not... These guys aren't doing too bad, all things considered. So good job, Rangers, with your bazooka teams. You're, do, you're doing great work. But anyway, while these guys are currently fighting, we got a Wolverine force coming on in. And this is where you, you, you slap your head and be like, no, that's not what we need right now. And yeah, it's not. Panzer Grandiers will make quick work of them if they advance any further. And as well, you have a Tiger goddamn Ace, which itself would most likely take a, a couple rounds from them and just like shrug it off because it's not that bad now you combine that with the rangers you're looking at a different picture uh, meanwhile airstrike came on in oh wait all right i they, they they did come on in immediately crashed and burned so i'm assuming anti-air was a thing yes so already y man is again being smart about this realizing okay the enemy could bring in something so let's counter it and shoot down their planes with anti-air Brumbar, though, make quick work of the Soviet attack, which, by the way, he keeps losing a lot of men. Not a lot of veterancy with a lot of those forces. Not a lot of veterancy. Uh, and speaking of the devil, there goes another Shock Troop squad. Uh, Shock Troop's trying to take the fuel. MG up to 22 kills. This thing has been doing a lot of work today. Uh, opening, f uh, being lit upon by artillery from the Zis-3. Uh, Brumbar, though, returning fire on the conscripts, doing quite a bit of health damage. SV-5 moving on in. Not too shabby. Yeah, Brumbar doing a lot of work. All right, good hit over all things considered. Up to 32 kills. False Here's the problem. False makers, very bad. It's horrifying and scary because they will absolutely demolish your men. Just example. Um, it looks like, I'm assuming, propaganda or fire coming down. It's fire. Good. Um, so that'll keep them back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huge armor push coming on in. Um, do we have rangers? It's kind of. Like half a ranger force. So we have this huge advance going on. The problem is the thing that would do the most damage versus armor is not fully optimized they're not ready for combat god damn all right and that went as well as one would expect uh yeah the art they admit the germans fell back reorganized and immediately demolished them the only victory was the oswin but i don't think two wolverines equal an oswin to my book uh the jer yeah the, the he's completely routed as well oh they they suka bombed it Oh, hot day. That's why he came in half-cocked. He got Stuka-bombed, and that was recent, too. Nice shot. Who was it? Yes, yeah, Desert Fox, maybe? Yeah, it was Desert Fox dropping a Stuka-bomb on target. At, at the very least, he did it the Rangers. They probably had to move out, and then he had to advance. No wonder they were in such a sorry state. Now is a great time for the Germans to move on in, especially with Minesweepers. They can make sure they don't hit anything and just clear this in advance. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. And he has plenty of resources, too. Again, Panzer Ideas would be a great choice. Calliope just being sent to die. My god. That's, uh... Well, it looks like, uh... I was gonna say the German armor changed things. Nope. German Air Force. So, good shot there. At least they kept the Rangers at bay. Panzer Ideas trying to take the point. Uh, IC-052 would need to switch off that ammo type and switch explosive. Waste. I heard the Stuka. All right, did hurt the SU-85 quite a bit, so I'll give credit where credit's due. Pack 40 as well, Vet 2, very nice. Panzerwerfer as well up to Veritzi 2. 42 kills by itself, really damn good. You don't need five Stukas to be this awesome force. Now, here's the thing. There are two Wolverines over here, and there's still AT, so this could be a bigger issue for the Panthers, um, especially if they're being lit upon by these guys. So we'll have to see. Uh, Panthers realizing the situation, hopefully pull on back. Uh, he's turning all the way, which is a horrifying mistake. There we go. Backing up and using Blitz. We do have a shot on target from the Tiger Ace. He's backing on up. Can we get a final shot? Nope. On the other one, they don't have a pennant. Okay. So Germans are still coming up slowly but surely. Where are those Rangers? Oh my god. They're slowly coming on up. Yeah, they need it. Speaking of which, uh, Falschmagers backing up the King. Again, if they advance with the Falschmagers, which look like they're just busy capturing the point, that could be huge. Because, again, a lot of the infantry right here would be definitely put at odds with these guys. Especially if they, uh, 
well, did a special ability. But they are grouped up right now, which is going to be a big detriment because the artillery is just slowly breaking them apart. Guard troops holding their own very effectively. And get a squad kill. It's a good job use of... And yeah, the IC-152 comes on in with a great shot on target as well, forcing the squad back. So, excellent work right there. Meanwhile, we have some squads fighting, but nicely, the American force of Jay Nolan breaks that very quickly. Um, middle is now under allied... Or, like, going to be under allied control, which is, which is pretty good. They, they need to get the points back up and running under that control to keep putting on the pressure. Because they lost a few points, but the Germans have still been slowly losing it. Just keep putting on the pressure on the Germans, and that'll make them a little more... Uh, do, uh, they'll, they'll be a little more pressed to do something. Uh, pack 40 up to Veteran Z3, probably hitting the ICM 52 which itself is a big issue for him. King Tiger getting some heals back at base after being marked targeted. Great IL-2 bomb strike, almost forgot to mention. Wolverine's coming on in. Bouncing, once again. Panzergrand here's coming on in, but the Rangers are just going to demolish that unit. And again, wondering what the hell is going on. Uh... They got cover to cover. I think that was active. Oh, Panzer were doing point blank shot. Uh, just a hair out of range, but it's still enough to suppress them. Plus, we have a, some strike coming on in, which is fire, which I don't know if he knew. But, uh, yeah, it, it came on in. At least it'll burn some of the infantry. The armor is pulling back just in, to be safe. Question is, oh, wait, Panzer were coming on in. Almost kills the Rangers. It does weaken them a bit more and does hurt the AT gun. So, nice use of that. Again, he's like, okay, where are they retreating to? Target that. Good job, Desert Fox. Uh, small push going on in uh, toward the enemy. Again, trying, I'm assuming, going for the Calliope. Wolverine, unfortunately, going to be a little bit blocked by that. Um, so that could be a, an issue for him. And AT guys looking the wrong way, man. They're looking the wrong way. Panth uh, this, is a, this is a hell of a time for a dive. Uh, Wolverine's trying to back on up. They could get at least one squad. Uh, one, not one squad, one unit. They lose a panther in that, which is absolutely not worth it. Again, where is the infantry and stuff to back up this push? Like, if you think of the assault grenadiers running next to them, or panzer grenadiers taking out the AT gun, that situation would have happened because the, the enough, uh, they, they would need more fire, and with the AT gun dead, they wouldn't have had it to hit that panther, especially in the rear. So, yeah, uh, curious. Sukhavon comes in, does a lot of damage, though, toward Hawaii. Redu uh, luckily, gets in, uh, the squad recruit and doesn't lose the AT gun, uh, not the AT gun, doesn't lose, well, either the AT gun or the conscript. Um, False Ranger is still trying to hold, but again, in a weird state where they're fighting at half health. Minesweepers are in place, at the very least, are trying to stop, uh, you know, dying from explosives on the ground. Infantry running through, maybe they get a final shot on one of these guys. Nope, he turned the corner. Middle is recaptured by the Germans. Left side is being now pressed. Again, without the forward base, it's a lot longer before these guys come in. But again, they have to because otherwise we can expect more strike strikes and artillery on them. A Calliope coming on in, keeping them at bay from capturing the VP. Meanwhile, the VP in mid is taken over by shock troops. Which, by the way, how many shock troops has just deployed? At the very least, his Katusha has been on point, 36 kills. But I will 100% say that he has definitely lost a lot of men. But the Germans are all as well, uh, for the most part. Desert Fox is looking... Eh, not too shabby. As Brumbar specifically, I'm really enjoying all the damage output it's been doing all game. But, um, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't say the Germans are also great with their preservation either. But, at least they're doing okay, all things considered. Um, not great, just okay. Uh, nice job with the Sherman, getting a great shot on the Pounds of Grand Deer. Hopefully he kill it. That's great, another great example. It's like, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we want to pull that squad back. Uh, come on. Oh my god, they have a bar. <laughs> yeah, sure. Anyway, it worked out. They annihilated the one Panzer Grandier squad. Panzerwerfer, though, coming on in. I think he fired a little further back. Yeah. Osman opening fire. Bazooka team about to come on in. But again, he's so weak. He just can't do the damage. Though he's probably going to grab that. No, I guess he has already filled up. So, yeah, he can't grab that extra uh, bazooka. No, it's not bazooka. It's the Panzer Shrek, right? Yeah, it's Panzer Shrek. Okay, never mind. Ignore that. Anyway, Wolverine's opening fire on the Panther. Uh, they penned, but they didn't do a whole lot. But it is damaged. Like, I will give credit. Like, it is slowly wearing him down. And meanwhile, mid is going to die. Like, why would you keep that unit there? It's not that desperate. You need to start setting in men. The, the enemy doesn't have five points. You just need to capture territory. You're already... Like, just keeping it decapped is well enough to where you're putting pressure on them. Sure, you lost that position. Uh, you lost the, the click, but at least you don't lose the Pioneer Squad. Because guess what? You're going to need that Pioneer Squad to heal your men. Um... Or your art. Well, actually, no. You have the. Te technically, you have the vehicle repair, but the Oswin doesn't. What about your Oswin? What's he going to do about it? Anyway, we have a strike coming on in. The air support. 
Oh, we have a ram coming in. This time he connects. He connects with it. The problem, the question is, can he do something else? And yes, we have a strike coming on in on target. Um, it's uh, oh, he damaged the engine. Okay, nice shot. Oswin trying to come in to stop the armor, and the air support's coming in, which will also do a lot of damage. Panthers, you need to get out of there. Calliope's currently open fire. Yeah, Ranger's coming on in. By God, this is going to be a, a, an Axis slaughtering ground in this situation. Wolverine's still firing from afar. Bazooka team's coming on in. I'm more interested in the Bazooka teams than the Wolverine, honestly. There's one Wolverine coming on in. They'll probably easily push the sucker back, and they will. Panthers might even kill it if they're lucky. But the, the, the Bazooka teams? Uh, we'll see. They get one kill. Yeah, Wolverine goes down. Go figure on that one. Panzer Gradier's uh, gonna put shots, I'm assuming, on the S-85, but it's not gonna be enough. Just pull back, man. And you're gonna lose the unit. I'm even gonna look at that. Uh, bazooka teams need to fall back. Luckily, they got both of them out of there. Yeah, so nice shots all around. Good shots with those units. Meanwhile, small breakthrough did happen on the right, though it looks like, oh my god, I just looked at that. Acre just lost everything. He has one tie race, and that is it. Luckily, it's enough reserves to pump out some units. Um, anyway, May C is also pretty down. He keeps losing Falschmanger units. My god. You're just sending him to the grave. Meanwhile, I love the Veteran C on the Y, man. It's like, yes. Oh, the Veteran C3. Or close to Veteran C3. That's Although, again, he is being kept at bay. But remember, this Elephant and King Tiger are both focused on him. Now, unfortunately, the Allies push so much. The Elephant easily repositioned. But take note of that. The Elephant would be, like insane in mid. It would be extremely good with it, especially against the Wolverines and such. It would it would break them open like no one's business, but it's being kept back from the ISU 152, and that's a huge win for Hawaii. The more forces he keeps on his front, which, by the way, is honestly the front that matters the least, uh, because there, it's very unlikely he'll be able to break through with his forces. He know, and I'm assuming he knows that, but He's causing enough pressure where they have to have two guys consistently over here just harassing him. And his ISU-152 is still alive. Sure, he may have lost the SU like additional support, but whatever the case may be, he's keeping them tied down over here for the most part. And hopefully that continues. If that does continue, then we'll see things like this where you see the Axis slowly being pressed back in multiple locations. Um, ah, yes. Hit him with the bazooka teams. Tear him apart. Up, oh, Brumbar coming on in. Up, the gun Oswind. Which is fantastic. Again, I, I, I love this fact that the Axis... Okay, finally we're seeing them uh, over here. That bridge is still in good condition. Yeah. But it may be too little too late to actually, like, change the tide of the battle. Um, we'll see. Again, it's not... the uh, One bad push, and I, I'm looking at you, RJ. By God, one uh, your Wolverines keep... I, I, I don't know how, but they're, they, they keep trying to do pushes. Nice grenade, though, on the Panzer Grenadiers. Might kill him. He, yeah, he's going to retreat right into shock troops and immediately die. Wait, is he not going to die? Is he really not going to die? I'll be shocked. Wolverine trying to go around. I'm assuming they're trying to target some other units. Uh, the Panzer Warfare specifically. By God, no, it is 45 kills. He's young. Okay, maybe not young. Maybe he's a mass murderer. But still, don't hurt it. Don't hurt this Panzer Warfare. And yeah, Tiger actually does some good blocking and makes him forced away. And I'm going to assume that he... No, the other one lived. The other one got out. The, the, the Vet 2 one did not. So, uh, yeah. Well, that'll be used for the OKW for fuel. Uh, because uh, I'm assuming he might need it. Oh, no, he has 440 fuel. Never mind. He's good on fuel. He's good. Uh, meanwhile, Hawaii Man has regrouped his men. It looks like he might be pushing in. Falschmakers are there, though. And we have Panzerwerfer as well. Uh, looks like uh, Desert Fox repositioned his men. So if any time he could push through and try to break that line, now would be the time because there's not as many men over here in forces. So good job on that part. Yep, Elephant has to... Elephant's bringing himself back over. Uh, I'm assuming as well with the... Yep, Stuka's over here. King Tiger's in repairs, and I'm assuming he'll come up. Meanwhile, middle is completely open because only two players can actively defend it. So, or full uh, two players can fully defend. He'll probably send over maybe a man or two, but not 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 to the extent he probably wants to. All right. Anyway, Ranger teams coming on in. By God, fourteen kills, five kills. How many vehicles have you blown up? Already three with this guy. Uh, one. Oh my God, that thing. Uh, Melee. I think that was a bunker. Melee gets KO'd. Uh, they're getting around 
the uh, MG, and I'm assuming grenades is going to be in its future, because by god, 500 munitions, uh, just start chucking all the grenades. And yeah, Brumbar though, coming on in, that's at least something good to counter it. Um, and yeah, they're going to pull on back just because of the amount of explosive damage they're currently facing. So, good work there. Anyway, Wolverine's putting pressure onto the Tiger as well. Alright, how much damage they, uh, I, they can do to it? Well, not much. They keep bouncing. My god, change off Wolverines. I, look, I get using Wolverines in numbers, but so far your numbers are only two, and that's not enough to really hurt a heavy tank. Um, anyway, uh, fighting continues over here. And the elephant died, so great job. ICM-52 trying to make it the hell out of there. He's going to need support because they're going to be chased down. Come on, ICM-52, you can make it. Oh, he bounced a shot, all right. Come on, all right, he made it around the corner. S-85 is right there. Fires, can you fire as well? He's going to need to fire. Oh, it oh he's he, he has the explosive rounds, he needs to switch. Vehicle buttoned. S-85 is taking the shots. He's protected. Uh, switch! Switch! Oh my god, S285 saved him. Holy mackerel. They're doing emergency repairs. Uh, do they have anything to kill that thing? No, they don't. And uh, yeah, some shots are already. Uh, AT gun gets behind the Brumbar. Okay, not behind it, but on side and it gets a lucky shot. Uh, but yeah, it's still doing damage. Conscripts as well. Keeping him at bay. Throwing AT grenade. Katusha as well. Opening fire. So I think that's uh, the other guy, right? Uh, maybe. Whatever the case may be. It's working. It's absolutely working. S-85 is still just trying to shove in, although it can't really do much damage. And yeah, he get, makes it back. Holy mackerel, Hawaii man. Desperate defense indeed. But you got it. You, he made it. And uh, unfortunately, the German security gun. But at, hey, you, you saved your Vet 3 unit. Don't worry, you have a Wolverine defending it. Please, for the love of God, switch to armor piercing rounds because I think you're going to need it in a moment. You do have some mines over here. Let me be very clear. You do have a mine. Oh, the other one detonated. All pull it back. Another Wolverine, Wolverine force coming on in. Wolverines, if if you could do anything, now would be the time. Looks like something happened. He's uh, critted a bit. Oh my god, so much armor is coming on in. Now he's marked. All right. Uh, shot on target from the IC-152. Come on. Yep, no, I think Wolverine's... Oh, wait, no, he's focusing on the other thing. Wait, is artillery? Our artillery's coming down. At least keeping them at bay. Fine. Brumbar and Tiger Ace trying to hit him on the side. We'll probably lose this S-85. Come on, Brumbar. Fish him off. You can do it. Our... Okay, uh, Plane just decided to try to help, but it was off by this much. Infantry trying to assist. S-85 as well. At the very least, backing up. Try to survive from the AT. Luckily, Guard Troops and Conscripts trying to remove him and do... All right, uh, we have another attempt by a panther pushing in the mid with the infantry, although he just landed himself right on top of something. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's a major strike, I think? Oh, good shot with the bulldozer pushing that back along with the artillery fire. And yeah, once again, uh, these guys just come on in to bazooka all their fortifications. Clyde be coming in on the MG. A little bit off, it looks like. Okay, a lot off. Really just making the background look pretty cool for him. That's all you're really doing. But yeah, gotta gotta give credit where credit's due. I'm really enjoying these Rangers. Like, seriously. Like, good job, guys. Fa fantastic work. But they're gonna press up and fight another blob of infantry through chucking grenade. Can they get a shot? They do. Good work. Oh, more of them le coming on in. Awesome job, guys. Awesome work. Oh, artillery fire in the distance. Taking a lot of fire from the Oswind. Coming on in. Come on, baby. One last shot. Oh, it's so close. Meanwhile, Axis making a, a desperate attempt. Wolverine's coming in to hold the line. Panzer Grenadiers are in force, but Bulldozers are taking most of those shots and uh, can deal out the damage to counter them. Uh, Panther pulling on back. Meanwhile, MG grabbing this point. They can't go for this yet because of, well, the Panzer Headquarters still there. They'll need to remove that, although a good IL-2 bomb strike could remove a lot of their artillery support. Oh, my God. Uh, all right, right now Axis are still down. Uh, it's 2.5 to 1, so they need to do something to hold the VPs. Uh, but at le very least they are right now, but they need to keep contesting it. Uh, Panther has broken through. This might be... Oh, wait, no, Jackson's here. It's like, I, uh, yeah, I'm not Wolverine. You can't really break me. And all the bulldozers as well. Oh, my... Uh, not bulldozers. Bazooka teams as well, the Rangers. 
Can he even... Uh, oh my god, I lost his main gun. Well, that was a loss. Not even a light artillery barrage over there. Alright, so Panther just died for no reason. Or I guess he had died to kill a priest. Oh, uh, not priest. The, the Calliope's. Calliope's are a different angle. I love how he's also not... Like, he could recrew this with the Rashlon. Just point that out. Or he could, you know, pick up the Bazooka teams. Like, you can't you can get that thing back up. J just saying. Meanwhile, S285 pushing in mid. Although, you have a, literally a fantastic Tiger A. So, I don't know what you're going to do there. Oh, my God. More Wolverines. Go, baby, go! Yeah, there's an elephant there. You're gonna die. Shh, nobody tell them. All right, never mind. They figured it out. Yeah, they're get, they're gonna keep attempting, but I think like the tiger racing elephant will be relatively fine. Again, we have more infantry and armor over here. Again, Desert Fox over here is infantry. We got MARC there. Yes, yes. The elephant's back here, but it's also not kind of fully focused in mid. It's still guarding as this ISU five two. 33 kills still. Uh, infantry grouped up a bit too much. Nice uh, job using the smoke from the Falschmager. He's pulling back. Yagpon's right advancing with the king who threw a tree out of the way because he means business. S85 over here. We still have conscripts so they can chuck an AT grenade to pin that armor. And yeah, we have a big old armor battle coming on in. I assume 5 2 putting shots on target. Throws an AT grenade. Whoa, with marked target. That's a lot of damage. They did kill the S85 support. But they might have enough to kill the king over here. And yeah, he's still putting shots on target. Yagpanzer, though, trying to assist. Up to veterancy with three. Oh, my God. IL-2 bomb strike, though, about to come on in on target. I ISU-152 trying to escape from the Yagpanzer. Oh, wait. Elephant coming on in. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. Elephant cock blocks it as well. Yagpanzer can't get a final shot. Can he? Uh, no. AT guns holding him back. Conscripts could rush him down through an AT grenade as well as Button via guards to throw said AT grenade. Can we get Button off on the Yagpanzer? Yes, we do. Conscripts, go. Go, Conscripts, go. AT gun as well. Backing on up. Good use. Again, Ura. Ura, Ura, Ura. Come on. Oh, he doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough through Ura. That's why. Okay. That L2 bomb strike used a lot of his munitions. MRA. Uh, sorry. Orange lost, uh, quit, most likely after losing the King Tiger, which makes sense. He's like, I'm through with this, I'm done. God damn, the elephant, it, it was there to help him, and yet it somehow, it still messed him up. To be fair, he probably would have died still, but I just love the fact he's just like, he's backing up, and he's like, what I hit? No, elephant, you screwed me! Uh, but anyway. So, yeah, Soviets look like they're doing a decent job in mid uh, with the S-85 support, along with the Wolverines. Which, at the very least, at least he's deploying them in numbers. So if he loses one, he has like three more backing them up. So at least the numbers game I could absolutely be with now that he has like four of them. Anyway, uh, Katusha opening fire on the medical facility, which uh, I bet there's someone being like, yes, hit their medical after what they did to me. Uh, speaking of which, Ranger's still over here, coming up in force. You know he keeps coming over here. You know, oh my god, backed up by Wolverines. I'm just, I just hear just the screams of the chanting of America. Just, oh my god. Well, okay, I did until the plane crashed. Anyway, uh, their elephant has a clear line of sight on target. Unfortunately, there's enough of them where I don't, oh my god. This could be a slaughter. And I, yeah, the Yagpons are firing. Uh, hold on, oh sorry. Wolverine firing the Yagpons are. One of the Wolverines die. A second one dies. Uh, they're trying to hit the uh, Panzerwerfer, but that escaped. Boom was protecting it. Love how it's in front. Another one dies. So only the Yagpanzer has died so far. Can we get a Stuka kill at the least? No. All of them die. Oh, Elephant put a Sean target over here. That's what killed him off. S-85 trying to get the Brumbars dead. There's so much armor right here that's just grouped up. It's insane. Recon's... I'm oh, sorry, Mark Target's overhead on the um, Tiger Ace. But, uh, yeah, so RJ just sent them all to their, their, their unfortunate graves. Uh, luckily, the Bulldozer's still doing work. I'll give it this. This Bulldozer's been very good at holding his position. But, by God. <laughs> um, yeah, that was, a, that, that was bad. Uh, yeah. Make sure you have support. That 100%. When you do an armor push, make sure you have support. Also, Wolverines, maybe better at afar, especially with all that armor, than just piling close range onto a Tiger Ace and with an elephant staring down and everything else. 
by the way, the, the, the Puma is an AI. So I love how the AI actually now in recognition was the thing that was protecting the Panzerwerfer. It's like, don't worry, I'm terrible with my programming, but I know at least to protect this. Again, I don't know what you're doing with the Panzer Grandiers. Yeah, it's like, push shots on target, but there's like three units in front of it. Good luck hitting it. Maybe you could. Maybe you could. Elephant maybe can hit it. That'd be amazing. But he also needs infantry support, otherwise he's going to be flanked. Puma at least dies. Uh, Rangers, I think you have a target in mid that's a little more important. Uh, by God. Oh, please go for that. MG setting on up. I think he realizes the, what the bigger target is, and he is. Uh-oh. Oh, they're already being hit by all the uh, SU-85s and such. Rangers coming on in. One got suppressed, one did not. He needs to keep pushing, though. Falschmager's trying to come in and help his buddy. But, like, he charged this in. Nothing is helping it. Like, nothing around him. No MGs, no AT guns, no additional lighter armor support. He sent it into uh, by itself. I mean, to be fair, that fits with German philosophy of, hey, we need to, to, we need to do better. Send this very, very expensive, priceless thing by itself. No support. I'm sure that'll go great. Um, Stuka this time blocking it, so never mind. He's like, remember when you blocked my unit? I'll block yours. A little bit of just desserts. I like that. No. Nah, oh, damn it. Stuka died. Oh, well. And yeah, after that armor push and literally all the major armor units dying, uh, that's GG. All right. Anyway, thank you to Hawaii Man for submitting this replay. It was actually pretty damn good. Uh, why me with 81,000 damage, 200 kills? Absolutely, absolutely can see it. Um, let's see, guards and conscripts. 32 kills with that conscript squad, by God. Uh, really great work there. I, yeah, definitely a lot of kills with his units. Definitely took a lot of losses. He was fighting a lot, two guys consistently with their heavy tanks and still going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. He still managed to get more kills overall, at, at least for, like, the big things. Like, again, going and killing the King Tiger and such. You would th think, especially with Elephant and a King, that the ISU would be down, but... That was not the case. That was absolutely not the case. Uh, so, as well, um, let's double check the other guys. Uh, Jay Nolan, even though you didn't, you got least damage, I would still say you did pretty good on the on the side. You 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 definitely gave LXR a major headache, though he did kill all your men, most likely because of the constant charges. Um, and he got second damage and second on kills. So, pretty good work there. Though, again, I would... He, he definitely lost a lot of men. Oh, God. And, yeah, the Rangers were a constant thorn. He didn't really press this side. So, at the very least, you could say you held on to a key victory point, um, even though you didn't get as much damage. Uh, meanwhile, you had Hawaii fighting relatively two people, which is why he got a little more damage. So, again, the damage and kills is not 100% to how his skill level was. Though, I will say, kills-wise, uh, RJ, yeah, you took a hell of a lot of losses. And, yeah, Bulldozer, I'll 100% give you credit for. Also, Calliope's. Um, not as many kills as I would have thought. Although I could be wrong with your total stats. Uh, and of course it bugs flats. Perfect. Well, in any case, guys, um, yeah, RJ, maybe don't die of the Wolverines. But overall, still a really good game. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. But otherwise, uh, thank you again, Hawaii Man, for being an awesome supporter and as well being a fan for submitting this in. But otherwise, this has been Grey Shot 217. I'll see all of you next time. Hello everyone, this is Grayshaw17, and before I go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Malam, JoeyG240, Anton Bashara, Ion, Pyroshark, Ace, and Jacob Osway. Seriously guys, thank you so much for your amazing support, especially over the past month. Been through a lot of personal hurdles, but you guys make it a little easier knowing that you guys support me. And same thing with the patrons down below. This has been Grayshaw17 and his amazing patrons, and I'll see all of you next time.